Today's topic is, Participation Constraints in ER Diagram. In the last video, we have learnt about the mapping cardinality in ER diagram. If you haven't seen the video, watch the video from the link in description box. We have seen that, mapping cardinality tells us the maximum number of entities, that can relate to each other through a relationship set. But in some situations, some rules are enforced on the cardinality. Today we will discuss about these rules in this video. What is participation constraint? It is a constraint which specifies whether the existence of an entity depends on its being related to another entity, through a relationship set. It tells us two things. Minimum number of entities, to which an entity must relate. And, maximum number of entities, to which an entity can relate. Minimum and Maximum Cardinality the minimum number of entities to which an entity must relate, is called minimum cardinality. On the other hand, the maximum number of entities to which an entity can relate, is called maximum cardinality. In ER diagram, these constraints are written inside brackets. First, minimum cardinality is written, followed by maximum cardinality. The format is shown on the screen. Let's take an example. We have taken two entity sets. Employee and project. The two sets are related through the relationship set, named works. Some rules have been set. A project must have minimum 4 employees, and maximum 10 employees can work in one project. So, minimum and maximum cardinality of project set, are 4 and 10 respectively. On the employee side, an employee may not work in any project, and one employee can work in maximum two projects. So, minimum and maximum cardinality for employee set, are 0 and 2 respectively. The representation of this example, in ER diagram is shown on the screen. Two other terms are also used here. Total participation and partial participation. First is total participation. An entity is said to have total participation, if each and every entity of the entity set participates in the relationship. In other words, if minimum cardinality of the entity set is one or more, then it has total participation. On the other hand, an entity is said to have partial participation, if there is at least one entity in the entity set, which does not participate in the relationship. In other words, if minimum cardinality of the entity set is 0, then it has partial participation. The representation of total and partial participation is shown on the screen. Total participation is denoted by double lines, whereas partial participation is denoted by a single line. Let's take the previous example. The minimum cardinality of employee set is 0. So it has a partial participation. Whereas in project set, minimum cardinality is 4, that is greater than 0. So it has a total participation. The representation of this relationship is shown on the screen. Sometimes, the total and partial participation is denoted by their respective short forms. That is TP and PP. Remember that. The bracket form gives us the complete information but total and partial participation could not give the complete information. And keep in mind, that all weak entities must have total participation with respect to its identifying relationship. I have already discussed about strong and weak entities in the ER diagram video. Watch that video from the link in the description box. Hope you have understood the topic discussed. Thank you.